You know, it is an absolutely perfect Sunday here in Germany, which is good because today we're actually going to our first cars and coffee out here in Germany. So super excited for that. The weather is looking perfect. But aside from that, I'm just excited for coffee in general because your boy is tired. So last night, I'm sure a bunch of you guys watched it as well. Cleese McFarlane had his burnout rivals competition and it was so awesome to watch all the stuff they did. But we are six hours ahead here in Germany from Eastern time. So I was up to like five o'clock in the morning. Needs to say I'm exhausted and I'm ready for some coffee. Time for a nice little Sunday morning cruise. the breakfast food acquired got some coffee in my one cup holder because these ones in mark threes are literally i mean my gauges are here but still these are the most useless cup holders literally ever so you're gonna have to hold that i'm so sorry i got my one spot occupied so yeah no i gotta i gotta drive so i gotta drive andy brought me the uh the fender roller here so now we can roll the fenders on the uh, the R32 so the front doesn't rub anymore. Another one rolling in. This is actually a super nice spot. So like right at the bottom of this like giant hill right here. We're in the Kaufland slash Tomb parking lot. Tons of cars rolling in. GT350 over there. There's two Skylines that way. This guy rolling in his uh, SS. And then there's also a right hand drive four door Mark V R32 which is pretty cool. Definitely some cool stuff. It's a nice, like, chill, relaxed Sunday. This thing sounds awesome. All of America. That's what's up. Got the Cadillac. That's what's up. And then R33 four door, and then R33 two door. Dude, this thing's awesome. Big, massive land boat. And I love it. I wanted to see this thing. Very nice car. Identical to her car, but obviously Mark V. So right hand drive. Is it six speed, right? Six speed, yeah. Look at that. Dang. We had Casey. We just yeah, ordered this. We just ordered this for her car. I love it. But mine goes like, because my battery's right here. Yeah. So it goes out that way. Bruh. Where that is a hat. Literally the same as your car. Reflex Silver, four door, right hand drive, R32. Yeah, yeah, right. Such a nice <laughs> car. Yeah, I like the interior too. <laughs> Look at that. That's how all the Mark V's in the state should come with a six speed. Beautiful car. This? You should have bought your car. You messed up. You could have parked them side by side and had the four and the five. Look how cool it is. So he bought this car. He's stationed over here right now, bought the car in Great Britain and then brought it back over here. What a beautiful spec. Literally identical to Casey's car. Reflex over right hand driving four door. Such a cool car. I like this a lot. Like I said, we just got that intake for her car. So your car will be twins with this thing. It's so cool. The VR is the best sounding thing in the world. So yeah, as I think it's a Miltec exhaust. I, uh, sports cat and then headers as well. Definitely a good sound. <laughs> so aside from the beautiful Mark 5 R32, there's uh, this gorgeous thing. And Marvin told me to look at the exhaust on the back side of here. See what we got. There's nothing. It's just, it's just open. I bet this car is extremely loud. This thing is beautiful. This is the kind of brakes I need in my car. Giant. And he has the car seat. That's so sick. Half cage in the back. What a beautiful car. We'll do a quick walk down the line. And see the cars we got out here today. Audi S3. Jeremy's R33, Conrad's Freshly Wrapped Supra, Legacy 32 GTR, 33 four-door, 
It's like a JZX90 or Soar Air, whatever it's called. And then R33 and 240. S15 front, blacktop SR with the uh, S13 rear. Cool car. If I ever bought an S chassis car, the S13 hatch would be the way to go. My favorite, with pop ups though. <laughs> Look at this thing, Eldorado 8.2 liter. That's the dream. One day to have like a 60s Cadillac with just the fins on the back, bag it, and just cruise out. I couldn't imagine having to put gas in an 8.2 liter. That just sounds awful. <laughs> so I never knew, but this car is actually front wheel drive. I would have never guessed. Dude, this hood is longer than my whole car. Oh, yeah. You could live in there. That is massive. Dude, there's so much space. I could fit like my whole, I could probably fit three or four VR6s in there if I needed to. <laughs> but it's front wheel drive, that's wild. I never would have thought. NSX on the BBS LMs. Dude, this seat is like a the living room couch. Oh, it's the comfiest thing ever. And he's got the red leather. It just feels like this is the most high quality seat I've ever been in my life. You could drive for a month in this car and be completely fine. This is the most comfy seat of all time. I love it. I need one one day. So this car is a 72 he's telling me and it has climate control, auto dimming, headlights over here, it has cruise control. That's a lot of like cool functions for 72. Really awesome car. I love like the wood trim and all like the the chrome knobs and stuff. This stuff is too cool. The car on this Miata is insane. There's so much flake in that. This car is cool. He's got like a, I don't know if it's factory or not, but the little rollover bars there. And he's got the nice set. I think four piston Will Woods. That's a nice car. Right next to the NSX on the legit BBS LMs, like these classic wheels. I think this one is supercharged. I think right, yeah, is it? Yeah, right there. Awesome car. It's a good turnout today. A lot of really cool cars came out today. He's about to start it up. I love this thing. It's so sick. Oh, that sounds so good. Whole lot of America right there. Such a good sound. This area is so nice. Like right at the bottom of this mountain here is a giant like strawberry field over there. Such a nice Sunday and then just cars everywhere. Also funny enough, this car might not look like much, but this thing's actually pretty quick. It's a 1.8 turbo. I think it has like closer to 400, I want to say. It's like gutted in the rear. It's actually quite a fast car. Nice little Focus RS pulled in. I like these cars a lot. And this blue is nice. Got the matching calipers. These are cool. You see them quite often over here too. Cody's gonna do a slight pull, of course, under the speed limit, keeping it very, very safe. That was all completely legal, under the speed limit, no issues. Later, man. Good to see you, buddy. Okay, yeah, I'll get you. Man, I love this thing. Such a cool car. So right now, everyone's kind of heading out. They're going to a burger place. We're actually gonna head across the street right over there and do some uh strawberry picking hey, man. god sounds so good Woo. god dude this is such a beautiful spot a little charger coming through bro this spot here like with the mountains and this road dude this is such a beautiful spot what a nice Sunday. Little Subi coming through. Look at the 
Killer beetle, it's so sick. We're going here. Ed Bear is a strawberry. I think Frischker might be fresh, maybe. But this section, like this looks fake. This whole section just looks it's so nice out today. It's incredible. This right here, this is like your windows background. It's like the most green field I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the times like in Germany, you're like, it's just beautiful. Ah, it's so nice. Look at the West of coming down. Super cool. So you actually have to bring your own basket, which we did not do, but we still were able to buy. These things are so red and also I strawberry like wine, right? Yeah. Fine. Interesting, look at that. Probably the best strawberry I've ever had. <laughs> What's happening back there? Hey, yep, but don't down the property, please. You're amazing. Well worth it. Cars and coffee, check. The best strawberries ever, check. Not a bad Sunday so far. So now we're home, we're gonna go ahead and get the fender roller out and do some fender rolling on the front of the R32. Just get a bit more clearance up in here because these ones aren't rolled at all. I love the brakes on this car. They are massive. I think these are 334 rotors and uh, four piston calipers. Like these things are gigantic. Super cool stuff. And then the uh, Bilstein coolers. So you can see where it was hitting before right here from the Nürburgring. We're gonna roll this entire lip through here flat and hopefully gives us enough clearance and there's no more rubbing issue. And then she's running a 225-40 uh, Goodyear Eagle F1. Not bad tires, but definitely get uh, sticky rubber for this car. And then while she's doing that, I have the front wheels off Miley here. Just going through, making sure everything's good to go, doing some cleaning. I like to go through with the um, this VRT stuff from Adam's Polishes and just make sure the bags are nice and clean. There's no dirt and stuff on there. So they've been doing good for three or four years now. So just keep them clean and no problem. Got some of my Favorite cleaner here. Just gonna go ahead and spray the uh, inside down. So this stuff cleaned off a little bit. Try and keep it as clean as possible. Let the pressure washer out and go through and spray it all down. Fender well looking much much cleaner now, and these spots like right here and right there where my car used to rub on 17s a long long time ago i'm gonna go through some trim paint and just cover that back up to keep it from rusting but other than that everything's looking nice and clean down here all right side number two just got sprayed down and then looking nice and tidy in here and i went through and i sprayed uh some of the back portions of the rail back there just cleaned it out a little bit just trying to keep it as clean as possible so fender number one is done so the paint in the center section here was already cracked when we first had the car, so that's okay. We'll get a little bit of touch-up paint from there. We can see, hopefully you can see, it lines up a little bit. There you go. It's just flattened out through here. That way when the car is turning and compressing down, there's not a flat lip to hit, so this should be much, much better. I'm gonna go through and clean the wheel well as well, and then we'll go to the next side. Be clean. Look how nice. I love these calipers. Look how clean these coolers came. So the top, which is where I haven't hit yet, and then this is where I just touched. And also look at the fender well. That compared to that, it's so satisfying to watch it like get cleaned off. Like watch this. And then watch it here. So satisfying to see. Look at that. 
Brand new. Look how clean your fender wall came. The calipers. Look at the coilovers. Oh, they're, wow. actually, they're actually like they're bright blue. blue. Wow. This was like dark gray. These were yeah. like black. So much better. I showed it before, but it's so cool to see Bilsian technology tested on the Nurburgring Nordisch Slife. Exactly where we drove this car. Which is really cool to see. The little logo right there. So I've gone through and painted up the few spots that were exposed metal. So painted there, a little spot there, and this section over here. And then there was one spot on the passenger side uh, right there on the back. Eventually, like one day, I want to pull this entire car apart to like a, just a bare chassis. And I want to have the entire car sprayed. Um, but that's way down the road. So for now, this will do just fine. Last fender water clean. Give you the little before shot. And I'll show you the after. I highly recommend you go through and clean out your... Uh, your wheel well such a huge difference we've got the r32 all back together nice clean wheel wells and nice freshly rolled fenders so hopefully next time we're at the ring and we're turning sharply there'll be no more uh no more scraping right here if so we'll have to go up with the car just a little bit but i think that should do it and then miley just some basic cleaning wheel wells are nice and clean and a little bit of engine bay cleaning and she's looking fresh that'll be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed do not forget be thankful for so they will see you next time peace